on crate. Certainly a lot of people play crack. So this is a pretty good opening hand. Yeah. I have to stand by that. Am I looking for something here? Not really. Frightener would be nice. I guess that's fine. I'm kind of looking for a Frightener. Alright, that's fine. Why not playing Eredin plus Horse and then Iris? I suppose that works too. Scars are all the trophies I need. Uh, Partially, I didn't play it. Is that just in case he has something uh, that he might put in there? Uh, then he can block it. For example, if you play Iris and it like instead and it goes down to one, what can he really play to shut it down? He can buff it. So like I suppose there are ways to try to mess with it. But if he played the the Rider, then if he plays something like a free or below. Then the frost might just hit that, and we really don't have uh, any ways to deal with it. Also, alternatively, we can just like play Iris, what do you and maybe need? like hit it with the warrior. I don't know. Seen it all already. Both both uh, ways work, but I I just decided uh, that I'm not gonna go for the rider play at that point. Edin's more flexible. <clears throat> So it's a veteran deck, which is totally fine by me. Dead gals? Possibly. We'll see. Seen it all already. And then some. He can't stay for long here. Seen it all already. And then some. Okay, what do we do? Can we tempo him out? I think I'm just gonna play a drug car for now. It's fine. We can we can win this round on even. Like if he doesn't pass now, I promise you a quick death. It's gonna get increasingly more awkward. I suppose then we can use a Drowner as well. Usually we don't do that. Oh, veteran boy. Stars are all the trophies I need. Yeah, that's annoying. Let's do. Drowner in the middle. I could just play a Scorch, and that's gonna make him very sad. Even like this, to 22 points, Scorch. I promise you a quick death. Do we do it? 
basic it basically wins the round. Or do we just establish another frost? Well, I just establish another frost for now. Oh, come on, the spy. He is here. You have that? Yeah, spy. He gained a card advantage for nothing. How great is that? If only I had such a amazing card as well. Now what? So we can play Iris. In the middle is acceptable. I am sadness. <laughs> wow. 17 point bronze. That's actually pretty good. Hunter 11, Barry 11, big scorch and work. I know. <sighs> Veteran is relevant as well. There's no way we're gonna get a frightener. Damn. What is it? Thirteen point hunter. So what do we do now? I can move away one of his guys. Do I even go for Frost? Do I just save Erdin for later? But for what purpose? I just wanna get out of Drakkar. Any last words? The mysteries of time and space, all of them! Okay. Do we have enough points now? Is it time to pass? It is time to pass. Thank you very much. What do we have here? So we're probably gonna eat the biggest hunter. As he's just gonna play it. And actually we need to be careful here. Okay, let's see. A navigator would wreck us. Roach would wreck us. Frightener would be awkward. Gauss is questionable. I just go with this. So I think we're just gonna start by... Oh, we have a Scorch. We also have Villain. Maybe we can start with the Rider. Oh, we can't eat that. That's just too crazy. How do we do this? Because I want to get strong as well. But I kind of want to deny him the, the chance to really get strong. So... I think he might just start huntering the villain Threat of Mert if I play it. Let's, let's do it. We're gonna start with Villain. Well, that's like 22. We serve under the right circumstances. Virgin, mother and crone. What is it? We could run out of hunters. Okay, I don't want this guy to get any uh, weaker, because I might want to take out an 11 from his deck. Actually, I probably want to do that. So we gotta play the Rider. We have to be very careful with uh, how we order this. 
Hi Adam, I got to top 10 with Spies, new list if you ever wanna try it. Actually I'm very we curious how you did that. Oh, is he gonna die? <laughs> what you got in here? Oh, looks like it's gonna he's gonna kill it with a uh, hunter. And there's nothing we can do about it. Actually the ability is gonna trigger first. So that's not true. I can do something unusual. How about I move this guy to the front. He gets hit. And he has two 11s. Then he can play a hunter, shutting down my villain, but then he gets scorched for three units. Somewhat awkward. If he doesn't shut it down, he gets owned. If he shuts it down, he gets owned. But she brooks no insult. Basically, he gets owned. Actually, I'm pretty sure the ability triggers first. So... I was just joking. <laughs> the sadness. Saying that in case he was listening. Anyway, GG, Alexander, bud. As dead as a <laughs> now, this is gonna be a tougher match. I believe. Hmm. Now, this is not too useful because it gets killed. Same thing. Okay, let's go with that for now. Pass? I don't know. I think we're gonna pass. We have to pass. <clears throat> it also helps that we have a spy. And he probably wants to... Uh, put a bunch of guys in the graveyard. This time. That's a bit odd. Because he probably has to play next turn anyway. Shouldn't you play? Uh, Young Calve 8 then? Or maybe he's playing another deck, but actually has a uh, guy here. Okay, that, that's a lot of navigators. Not much to navigate out. Starting with a spy. No one can hide from me. I don't really have a neutral opener here. I don't have an opener. If he played the Rider, it gets killed by the Witcher. One thing we can do is... Play a Hound. And assume that he's gonna go with the Elves. Time to get our hands dirty. We know the mysteries of time and space. All we have to play the Navigators as soon as possible. Problem is, if you play the Rider, it's most likely gonna get murdered. <sighs> so that's not good. I don't know what to go for here. 
We can't really play Iris either. It's too slow. If I play this, it's gonna get killed by a Witcher. Not really many amazing plays here. I'm just gonna go with the Rider for now. We follow Letho's lead. He needs to play for Windmond? I know. That's somewhat annoying. So if we play this, most likely gonna get murdered again. Especially if we play it in the back and the Witcher dies instantly. Two witchers are out. Question is, does he have the third one? We don't know. Maybe it's a too it's a little bit too soon to establish the other Vaton Hound. Come on. Don't have all the witchers. <clears throat> That actually sucks, anyway, because uh, this blocks the iris play now. It looks like his Witcher is gonna die, then he's gonna snipe my dude. Which is just bad. One thing we can do is get out the Drakkar. Uh, it's gonna push the Rider up. And it might be enough. So he's gonna take 2 damage. Can we get 16 points by playing a Drakkar? So that's gonna 12. It's gonna be just enough. But then the Drakkar is gonna die. But I think it's just viable. The dark car is not dead yet. Can we just take it with the navigator? We can we can definitely take it with Iris. I'm so, so let's go for that. Afraid. Although we can we could have uh, went for the No actually that doesn't work. The Valton Navigator play doesn't really work so well. Uh, okay, Roach. At this point he's just Um Accepted the fact that he's gonna lose a card. Scorch is probably not that good in this matchup. Time to get our hands dirty. Okay. Can play that guy. We can play Iris again, but of course we don't really want to. Anything but Roach is good. And also, what is his finisher? So obviously he's gonna replay his leader. I mean, said we need to throw that away. Yeah, that's a bit bad. He's gonna most likely kill it as well. So, we have an 18. This is an 18, this is a 10. That we don't know. Isn't he gonna die anyway? Okay, this is a... These are both 18s. That's a 10. We don't know about this one yet. I would rather not like I would rather avoid blocking it if if possible. Naivety is a fool's blessing. 
Okay, let's go villain. Maybe he thinks I'm just gonna slow play this. But I kinda have bombs in the hand. Is Dunzo? Maybe not. We have a Dead Scorch. Yes. What is it? Uh, we're just gonna go for a ride if now. need to, we can take out some garbage from his uh, graveyard. We can still technically take out villain. Here's our chance. He doesn't want to though. Okay, we're gonna scorch because it's pretty important to not burn down their own stuff. This is gonna be 18, 18, I don't know, uh, 15, by the looks of it. Actually, we have an interesting play. We can shuffle back the Witchers. Even if this is a 15, that's good. Like, basically, if Villain doesn't hit you, it's a win. Still, it would have been uh, a little bit nicer to play Scorch earlier. Would have made this last round a little bit less awkward. Not much left of that world. Okay, seems like Vesemir is going to be the one. Oh no! Look at that. Went for an odd play. Okay. No, what are you doing? So, we're gonna play a seer and shuffle back both features. This might help him out, but I think it's more likely that it's gonna wreck him. Quite the menial task. No wow. Okay, this guy I likes the top deck. Sure. Cool, cool beans. Uh, what else? It's not so bad because Vesemir used the Mandrake on our Roach. I think he lost. We follow Letho's lead. Not good enough. As long as we find the right uh, options and menu. Seven points. GG.